Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we're going to talk about uh, aid going to Ukraine. In a recent video, I addressed a talking point about the defense industry and the idea that they were pushing the aid to Ukraine so they could make a bunch of money. And I went through the numbers and demonstrated very clearly that those numbers, the amount of aid that was being delivered to Ukraine, those aren't defense industry numbers. Tiny, tiny, tiny amounts that really, in the grand scheme of things, to their bottom line, it's a tax write-off, not, not a motivation to, to make a call to one of their senators, right? I also said, yet, that's not happening yet, and described what it would look like if they started doing that sometime in the future. It is now the future. Um, the defense industry definitely has the U.S. government saying, it's dangerous out there, take this. Um, when I made that video, the total amount of aid, military aid that had been provided to Ukraine was about $3 billion. The new package is $20 billion. That's the kind of ballooning I was talking about in, in, in that video. Now, I know some people are going to say, well, a lot of that is is old stuff that the U.S. has on the shelves and is now going to provide. Yeah, that's true, but it's also going to have to be put back on the shelves, and the defense industry is going to start making some real money here. Um, so now that talking point, yeah, it, it's legitimate. The defense industry is now going to make a, a dump truck full of cash. Um, after all, it is blood that makes the cash grow green. So, from here, the, the question is, did the defense industry dictate the policy? No. Um, the, the aid was going. Uh, that, that's something that was in line with U.S. foreign policy interests. And now the defense industry is like, hey, since you're doing this, Senator, maybe you should do this as well. Perhaps we build a factory in your hometown, something along those lines. Um, I, I don't actually have a leaked phone call from one of the big defense industry uh, executives to, to a senator that, that they own, but given the fact that it was, this isn't happening, this is what it would look like if it was happening, and now it looks exactly like that, that's probably what's happening. So, does this mean that Ukraine doesn't need this equipment? No, it doesn't. It just means that the U.S. defense industry, rather than allowing other countries to provide it and make the cash, they're going to do it. And it looks like the U.S. is taking the lead when it comes to providing the higher-end stuff that costs a bunch of money and providing it in bulk. So... Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.